It is 12.18 p.m. Central Standard Time on April the 8th. And after deliberation within my spirit, I decided I'm going out on this eclipse day. And I'm going to see what happens. So whatever has been said by others about staying indoors or whatever, I decided I'm going out and I'm going to see what happens based on what I feel internally. It is Monday, April 8th, 2024, and the sun right now is at quite an auspicious angle. I looked directly into it and saw that um, all is clear. I'm going to go to the park where there is adequate grounding, and I am going to work with this energy today and understand these possibilities. It's a beautiful day and it's a great day to sit out, observe nature, observe what's going on in the sky. About the energies of this time. And explore the inner self. The other great thing is I can sit on the edge of the concrete and I can ground with my feet on the ground and sun gaze at the same time while having water directly before me. Beautiful sight out here. We got a nice little fountain. We got great scene. Beautiful surroundings. And I'm on the side of the park where there's less likely to be third party music. That would cause copyright issues. But anyway, it's a very serene and tranquil moment right now. And I'm going to document this moment in the spirit. I'm going to ground, sit, and meditate. just look directly at the sun, no matter the angle, and you just take in the energies. You take in the energies, let it feed your mind, let it feed your spirit, let it feed your being. I do see a little bit of the moon. I didn't think I would see anything, but I see a little bit of the moon. Just, yeah, I see a little bit. So I'm gonna let they, let that work its process. I did a sneak peek yesterday when I was uploading the previous video. I wanted to see about what time 
the eclipse crosses this area of the United States. And I'm not in a city that's in a direct path, right? I would have to travel about two hours from where I'm sitting right now to get into such a city. And I thought about it. I'd have to go to Little Rock, Arkansas. Or I could go to Evansville, Indiana. But I decided to stay where I'm at because I'm still close enough three hours from the critical point that the energies of the eclipse is radiating this way. And I may not see it in its totality, but if my calculations are correct based on the time it's supposed to be here, which is approximately about a, about 40 minutes from now, because right now it's 1, 1 14 p.m., then I might see a bit of eclipse today. I know I saw some of it on 2017, in 2017 when I looked into the eclipse with just one eye. I had a little bit of fear back then based on what people were saying in the news, people were saying in the scientific community. Don't look, you'll damage your retina. Well, I looked at it with one eye and I didn't damage my retina. But I've changed and grown since then. So. I will increase my capacity 
for self-love. I will have a mind free of intellectual and emotional toxins and dysfunctional patterns. I continually learn from the most high, higher character, right thought, right action, and perpetual right spirit. I am grateful to all my friends, to all my allies, to all my true co-conspirators in life, in spirit, and consciousness. I'm eternally grateful to my spiritual team, to my ancestors, part of whom occupied these lands over thousands of years. I call into my indigenous blood, my blood from the African homeland and the American homeland and the native tribes of this land to be with me now, to rise from this place, to rise from this place, to rise from this place, and to shower me with wisdom shower me with insight, shower me with power. I'm eternally grateful to my ancestors for assuring my legacy, destiny, and greater transformation. I am truly worthy. I am truly successful. I am truly desirable. And I am destined for greater supremacy, the spirit, mind, body, soul, and eternal being. remember and know my primordial existence from beyond time, from beyond creation. I venerate and am grateful to the primordial prime creator, the most high, the highest of highest souls that perpetuated creation, that perpetuated all being. And I'm reminded of such on this eclipse. I stare directly into the portals of this light and the next life, and all lives, and all dimensions, and I summon the Most High, the Supreme Prime Creator, to bring about greater transformation within the depths of my being, the depths of my soul, the depths of my spirit, to manifest, transform, and awaken my highest self. I venerate the true source of light out of darkness, order out of chaos. avatars, your adept masters. I speak into the wind, 
from the foundation of the earth, surrounded by water, air, and I speak it to the fire. That the adept master work in my highest evolution and ascension. I love my ultimate soul, my chief and pride self, at the highest plane of existence. Here is the greatest concentration of the prime primordial creator's essence. I seek to always know my original thoughts and goals and character. experience of the third dimension, part of my soul and spirit inhabit and is manifest and incarnate to the great powers of this dimension until the highest dimensions and all the dimensions in between. Hear me now, regardless of the language, hear my intention carry the somatic frequency of my tone and my voice and my intention and my heart and my spirit and my soul radiate and resonate outward through all the dimensions. Through my consciousness, I hereby collapse the quantum wave function of all dimensions, all worlds, all levels of consciousness, from the most low to the most high. I seek to evolve beyond these dimensions with the assistance of the great primordial powers and ascendant masters and my spiritual parents and spiritual ancestors. I seek to manifest durable high power, perfect will, the highest frequency and vibration associated with benevolence and prosperity in my soul, in my spirit, and in my being. I want to wake up and experience my full being alive wherever I live and exist. I want to walk awake, awake not just in consciousness, but awake in the spirit, awake in understanding, understanding, overstanding, and omnistanding. I want to be fully aware with omniconsciousness in all worlds I pervade. I acknowledge where I am in this temporal existence. All beings here, the ants, the bacteria, the viruses, fungi, the leaves, the trees, the flowers, all of you, work with me now, spread my influence and spread my being and my understanding and return to me a trillion fold greater insight and wisdom of this earth, of Gaia, of the ancient teachings, the ancient knowledge to bring about abundance, prosperity, health and wellness not only for myself, but for all humanity, all beings, regardless of their disposition, their demeanor, their place, and their motivation. I respect all spirits and powers, whether good or evil, or in between, as well as the spirits that transcend polarity I venerate transcendent. I do not embrace fear, but seek to live in my soul and spirit at the highest frequency and vibration. I do not give my energy as food or substance to any other. I do not give my energy and spirit to any other than all that I have taken it. Listen, listen. I call back all my power and all my energy a trillion fold. I call back all my power, all my energy that has been lost in negligence, through malfeasance, through corruption. I call back all my true, innocent, essential energy in a quadrillion fold. All ill will directed towards me. All ill energies that have been directed towards me. I return to sender a quadrillion fold, a quadrillion upon a quadrillion. 
return to center. And I claim my power and my feelings in full. Where I stand and where I sit and where I meditate in this moment, I am a divine being filled with the entirety of primordial power and majesty. I am here through spiritual choice to participate in the prime primordial creator, the most high power and majesty. I live here in collaboration with all my spiritual ancestors, blood ancestors, the great powers, ascended masters, and the prime primordial creator from the primordial cause of all existence to evolve myself and ourselves to help manifest a greater creation, understanding, and projection of souls, spirits, and beings. All that I've said, these are the truths of my heart, the truths of my being. Align all my chakras, elevate me to enlightenment. Apply enlightenment to be of value in this dimension in which I inhabit, operate, contribute, and help the community of beings who seek peace, love, benevolence, loving kindness, right thought, right action, right being, right purpose. Let us spread love. Let us be of love. Let us embody love. Despite any flaws, despite any stumbles, we are the ultimate and supreme masters of recovery, of recovery, of returning to the highest, true, original, pure selves of love, power, purity, and a harmonious and holistic cooperation for a nation with all practical expressions of the greater consciousness. This is a time of the unity of the portals of existence. So now I direct the call into the universe, the call into the ancestors, the call into greater being. To now ask, not for just myself, but for all people who struggle and are disenfranchised. I first ask for the full restoration of Haiti. May the Haitian people rise up and restore the truth and the vibrancy of the ancient land. May the ancient empire of Haiti be restored to its original form, manifest and transform into modern form of its ancient origin. May the land that I sit on, the continent that I am on, through my indigenous ancestors who were great shamans and great shamanic priests, shamanic priest kings and queens, shamaness and sorceress, who practice the arts in love and goodwill. I ask for the restoration of this land, the restoration of this entire populace of insects, soil, flora, fauna, waters, the health of the air, the health of the people, that are originally from this place, that built this place, and rose up this place. I call upon the restoration of this land that we call America. Bring about the manifestation of the true nature of America. Bring about the true nature of the indigenous power and potency of the Americas from the Olmecs, to the Aztecs, to the Incas, to the Mayans, to all Native American tribes and all free Native American tribes, all of those that occupy 
Latin, what is called Latin America. All of those that occupy what is now called South America. All of those that occupy what is now called Mexico. And all of those that occupy the Caribbean. And most especially, Puerto Rico. Restore those lands and those areas. Bring about a transformation in Florida. Bring about a transformation in Georgia. Bring about a transformation in Mississippi. Bring about a transformation in Tennessee. Bring about a transformation in the Carolinas. South Carolina. North Carolina. Bring about a transformation in Indiana. Bring about a transformation in Illinois. Bring about a transformation in New York. Bring about a transformation in Michigan. Bring about a transformation in the Midwest. Bring about a transformation in the Canadian landscape. Bring about a transformation in Alaska. Bring about a transformation in West America. All the lands originally occupied by native peoples, regardless of their continental origins, from Asia, Africa, and elsewhere, and from the sky, from the cosmos to the earth. Restore this land, restore those ancient peoples, restore them to their power, restore them to their majesty. I've given up all food, I've given up all pleasures, I've given up all flesh, I've given up all things for two quarters of 30-day cycles between last year and now and in this sacrifice bring about the transformation of all the indigenous peoples bring about the transformation and restoration of the indigenous peoples of Australia bring about the transformation and restoration and transcendence and ascension and manifestation of the peoples in the now 54 countries of Africa. Bring about the transformation of all those people. Do not bring war, but to bring peace, to bring true advance, higher morality, to bring about true advance intelligence, to bring about true elevation, that is superior to violence, that is superior to conflict, that is superior to aggression. But to move ahead and move through all that was degenerate, all that was decayed, all that was corrupt, but to move forward through these things, through advanced intelligence of the body, of the mind, of the spirit, of the emotional balance. I call upon the Supreme Masters, the Adept Masters of all these lands I've called out. Hear me now. I am your general in the spiritual warfare. The warfare not of aggression, the warfare not of violence manifest in this realm, but the warfare of higher ideals, of higher being, of higher purpose, of higher essence. To move about this realm as true adults. I gaze into the eclipse. I gaze directly into the power that emanates into this realm. Whatever else comes into this realm that is not aligned with what I said, this is not for you. I pierce the bells of the reality and I call upon those that come through this portal before, now, and for the next several months and years to hear my voice in the eternal Akashic record in this moment and in my full feeling and balance of emotion and reason that it is reasonable that we have balance and holistic orientation of this reality that we now can ascend there are enough of us in this land and in this time. Through the indigo children, the star seeds, 
I am your general. In the spirit, I call upon all of you that can hear this. Awaken and transform. I've said all that I will say now. And I will hear your response. I will hear. But you have to say. And we will go forward. And make a heaven out of this reality. Thank you all, great spirit. Thank you, ancestors. You hear me? You're working. Thank you, spirit, for teaching. And no matter what comes, and what matter, what, no matter what happens, me, this reality, these experiences, I am eternally grateful to the most high, the prime primordial great, the greater of essence, experience.
So you can gaze directly into the sun and you can gaze directly into an eclipse. You've prepared yourself, prepared your body, prepared your mind, prepared your spirit. You can absolutely do these things and be transformed.
microbiome and all the citrus elements within. Elevate to your higher spirit, to your higher self, to your higher form. Be fully cleansed, be vibrant, be productive, operate in your true and original design. optimal function and correct design and function.
now the sun fully eclipses, the moon fully eclipses the sun.
It's been an absolutely wonderful experience working with the eclipse and the eclipse energy. I couldn't be more pleased. I'm going to go into Kroger, the nearest Kroger, and see if they have a bottle of Harmless Harvest coconut water. I had the, the regular Kroger brand Simply Organic coconut water earlier today. And so I'm winding down my fast by gradually increasing the dosage of things like cocoa powder, carrot powder, and ashwagandha. It doesn't count as food, but it does help my body get a little bit more acclimated to food when I start eating in two days. And so spirituality is not about being outside of this world and escaping karma. Spirituality is about being part of this world, but at a more productive level. Spirituality is about working with the energies of the divine of consciousness to more productively contribute to this realm as it is so that you can use those energies, those powers, those insights, the balance of reason and emotion to transform this reality into more of a heaven. And so I just wanted to share that because that was on my heart as I was driving to Kroger's. I'm going to see if they got this uh, coconut water. I think uh, yesterday or two days ago, I saw that they didn't have any in stock. So hopefully they resupplied and I can get this the way I want. I just really want a single bottle of Harmless Harvest if it's available at this location. If it is not in stock, then I will decide if I want to drive to another Kroger location and pursue it. Because it's kind of like my celebration drink at this point. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, well, I don't have the normal... Oh yes, I do have the normal 16 ounce. Great. There's actually two of them. See, I would prefer to buy two of these. If that sale is, is still valid, two of these is actually uh, cheaper than one of these, right? Because this here, once you open it, you got to drink it. You almost got to drink all of it. I mean, it says on the bottle you can um, refrigerate it, but I don't like doing that. I like my coconut water to stay as fresh as possible. And um, I could pick up some, some pistachios for later on, but for uh, Wednesday. But I decided not to do that. Besides, they don't have this pistachio mix that I like, which is the lightly salted one. But anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna get these, uh, and I'm gonna drink one probably an hour from now, and I'm gonna save the other one for either later in the evening, or I'm going to perhaps um, consume it tomorrow. So anyway, but. We'll check out. All right, so I got my coconut water, and I'm quite pleased with this. So I'm gonna let um, one of these sit for about an hour or two, because I don't, um, if I mix this with cocoa powder and ashwagandha powder, I don't want it clumping up, and it'll clump up more easily if it's cold. I can get around that because I have a milk frother, right? I got a milk frother, so I can work around that so I won't let it get all the way to room temperature like I would do if I was traveling out and about and I did not have my milk frother. But since I do have access to a milk frother, then where I'm going, then I'm going to uh, not have it sit as long. 
And then this other one, it's actually gonna sit overnight. I do that all the time. So then when I wake up uh, tomorrow, it'll be ready to go. We'll try something different and see what this conversation looks like in my vehicle. But yeah, I say overall, pretty, uh, pretty productive day. Let me turn off this CD because I don't want any copyright. But um, I was originally going to stay indoors on this eclipse. I have watched some videos where people were talking about being careful of this weird dark energy coming out and all this kind of thing. And um, I think some of the spiritual consciousness people kind of got caught up in their mind just a bit. And um, anyway, thing is, is that in my spirit, when I was laying down, it was like, you need to, um, you need to go out and not stay indoors. Be prepared for this moment for several months, for several months. So it makes absolutely no sense to waste all that effort and time and investment just to stay indoors on one of the most important spiritual days that have arisen in a long time. It made absolutely no sense. So I got up, took a shower, brushed my teeth, put on some nice cocoa butter, coconut oil blend from Alfia, just two ingredients. And I'm pleased with integrating with nature, with my ancestors, with the Most High, the Primordial Prime Creator. And I didn't stay closeted. I am still on a communications blackout, technology blackout. Well, there go the camera. All right. Communications blackout, but... Uh, We'll connect to the internet briefly to upload all of this footage and then I'll be back in my normal communication technological rhythm tomorrow and for the rest of the day I'm just going to read meditate some more and relax